Hey, what up YouTube, Paul Rock here. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today I bring you a quick build you can set up for solo play using the exotic Chameleon AR. It's a powerful build that mixes the power and play style of the Chameleon with the survivability you need to play solo. I'm gonna show you guys one solo heroic mission run and then I'll show you and explain the build and how to use it. So here we go. So this time I'm running American History Museum uh, in Heroic uh, with a couple of directives. Uh, this build works on group missions as well, but it's more focused on soloing content. So let's see how the build performs.
So now after watching the heroic run, uh, let's see and dive right into the build. I use the Gunner Specialization because in my opinion, it's the best for soloing content. Uh, it has a, a very good uh, talent that will help you uh, when soloing content, like the incessant talent that gives you 10% armor when killing an enemy. That's really important. Uh, Hardened armor kits that give you 30% armor bonus if you use an armor kit. It generates 10% total ammo uh, every 60 seconds and it has a rate of fire on kill. So those, those are very good passive talents to have uh, when you're playing solo. The primary weapon is the Chameleon Assault Rifle that has 900 RPM. Uh, so you guys will be firing rounds very fast and we'll try to hit the enemies on the head. This build is a headshot build and you will need to focus to hit on, on the head. If it's your first time using the Chameleon, remember that you need to proc all three buffs to take advantage of, the, of this assault rifle. If you hit 30 headshots, it will grant you 20% critical hit chance and 50 critical hit damage for 45 seconds. If you hit 75 body shots, it will grant 90% weapon damage. And if you hit 30 leg shot, you will have 150% reload speed for 45 seconds. So for this build, I concentrate more on the top and the middle buff, like the head and the chest buff. But the third one is always, is always good. So what you will try to do is have all the three buffs up when you can, if not the top two, like I said. And to be more effective with this build, uh, you will need to hit the enemies on the head. The distance for this weapon is not very good. The damage drop off is very high compared to other ARs. So trying to engage from a distance uh, won't be a deal. So I don't recommend doing that. So that's why I chose uh, my secondary weapon to be a rifle. Uh, this time I got the M1A CQB that works very well. But like I always say to you guys, it is up to you. If you like to have a secondary weapon, a rifle, a shotgun, our SMG, uh, just remember to respect the right weapons on the specialization so you don't miss that weapon damage. It's up to you guys. The mask is the only fairness piece that will give 10% uh, assault rifle damage. For the stats, we want as much as critical hit damage and headshot damage. And for the gear mod, we want headshot damage. Remember that for all pieces. The backpack is our only providence to get the 15% headshot damage. Uh, with the Vigilance Talent, uh, the standard talent for great DPS, that will give 25% 20, weapon damage if you don't take damage. The chest piece is our only Grupo, that will give 15% uh, critical hit damage, and again, with stats as critical hit damage and headshot damage. The talent is Obliterate, that uh, with critical hits will increase the weapon damage up to a total of 25%. Using the Chameleon will help with that since we need to have the chest buff active to, uh, I mean the second buff of the Chameleon to get up to the 60% critical hit chance cap and do more crit damage and proc obliterate more. And now we start with the armor pieces needed for you to solo content with more survivability. The gloves are the contractor's glove uh, with armor rolled uh, on the core attribute and you can use critical hit damage or headshot damage that will be better on the third slot on the third stat. The knee pads are the fox sprayers with again armor rolled on the in the core attribute. The holster, I went for a piece that gave me more survivability, like the 5.11 tactical that gives me 10% health and rolled headshot damage on it. The skills for this build are the Crusader Shield to add a layer of protection since we're going to solo content and and having three or more blue core attributes, it will bump the skill to tier three or four, depending on how many pieces, blue pieces you have. And uh, our second skill, uh, I went with the decoy to avoid the aggro when you have a lot of enemies in the room or you face off with a, with a changa. What I do, especially is when I enter a room and I know there's gonna be a lot of people, you just throw the decoy first and then you engage. The stats for this build are like this. You want the critical hit chance to be no more than 40% because like I said before, the extra 20% to get to the 60% cap, you will get it with the chameleon chest buff, the second buff, remember? 
we got decent critical hit damage and decent headshot damage. So when you proc at least the top two buffs of the chameleon, you want to concentrate on the enemy's head and destroy them fast. So that's it for this awesome hybrid chameleon build that I'm sure you can try it and put it to good use if you'd like to play with a chameleon. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and I can't thank you guys enough for watching any content that I, that I put out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified of my new videos. I really appreciate it and it will help me keep bringing more content to you and continue this YouTube journey together. Uh, guys, as always, be safe in these crazy times. Take care and see you on the next video. Ciao! Pachín. <laughs>